They're more accustomed to using Challenger 2 tanks and only had a couple of months to get used to their new vehicle before deploying to Afghanistan. So how did the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards get on when the Warthog replaced the Viking? Charlotte Cross has been canvassing opinion. The Warthog first arrived in Afghanistan last December, a much needed replacement for Viking. The whole fleet is now in place, operated by the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards, who are providing the Warthog group on Herrick 14. I think we are very, very happy with the vehicle that we have. Um, a number of Warthogs uh, with two RTR in the previous incarnation of the Warthog group um, hit IEDs and no one died as a result. Um, that certainly probably couldn't have been said of um, Viking. The Warthog weighs 20 tonnes. That heavy armour protection combined with wide tracks and significant firepower means it can go pretty much anywhere and hit the enemy hard where it least expects it. It allows us to deliver infantry onto positions which were previously unreachable. Uh, it also allows us to move very quickly and in surprise on night vision otherwise into areas where they really don't expect us to be and we deliver a lot of firepower and a lot of manoeuvrability which completely outflanks the enemy um, and generally tends to put them on the back foot. Being a new vehicle, there aren't many in the UK to use for training, so it's been a fast learning curve for the Scots DG getting to know the Warthogs. No matter what type of fighting vehicle you're using, as long as you go back to your previous tactics, you'll be fine. And because it has so much armour, the, the Warthog, you can use it nearly as a tank. It gives us the option to put ourselves at the front and use a, a good amount of firepower if required. It also allows the crew to have relative safety with, with the, uh, the extra armour that's on these now. For the soldiers out on operations, the Warthog becomes home for weeks at a time, meaning they soon get used to their new vehicle. In a tank you work in small groups, you're working with uh, four people, and on the Warthog you're working between two and three people, so it's pretty much the same. You, you just get a much closer bond with the people that you're working with because they're in your face a lot more. There's not as much maintenance needed on the Warthogs as there is on the tanks. So. It's a lot easier to work with. The Warthog Group is in demand, supporting ground troops and operations across theatre. I think the Warthog Group provides a pretty substantial force element and certainly our predecessors said that the enemy were generally scared of Warthog. They would take you on in very close country, but anyone attacking you out in the open where your weapon range is you know, probably outpunch theirs is really not, not a terribly sensible individual. The Warthog is proving a powerful deterrent against an enemy who's right to be fearful. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, in Helmand with the Warthog Group.